The old Yellowstone stagecoach is the first to pass through. Followed by the historically famous Yellow Tour Bus. And finally, our family tour van passes through the original entrance to Yellowstone Park in the small town of Gardner, Montana. The 50-foot high arch was erected in 1903 and dedicated by Teddy Roosevelt in the same year, who was also vacationing in the park at the time. Established in 1872, Yellowstone National Park is America's first national park spanning across parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. It's home to a large variety of wildlife, including grizzly bears, wolves, bison, and elk. And it has some of the world's most extraordinary geysers and hot springs. Yellowstone is one of the most popular national parks in the United States. Since the mid-1960s, at least two million tourists have visited the park almost every year. In 2010, 975,000, a record number of visitors, came to the park in July. Native Americans have lived in the Yellowstone region for at least 11,000 years. The region was bypassed during the Lewis and Clark expedition in the early 19th century and wasn't explored extensively until the late 1860s. Many areas in the park are volcanic and feature active steam vents and bubbling mud and water flowing out. Bacterial growth on the flow areas produce a myriad of colors.
Hundreds of species of mammals, birds, fish, and reptiles live in the park, including several that are either endangered or threatened. The vast forests and grasslands also include unique species of plants. Yellowstone Park is home to some of the largest collections of grizzly bears, wolves, and free-ranging herds of bison and elk. Old Faithful is one of the most popular tourist attractions in the park. Old Faithful is a cone geyser that erupts pretty regularly, about every 91 minutes, and can be mathematically predicted. Eruptions can shoot anywhere from 3,700 to 8,400 gallons of boiling hot water up to a height of 185 feet in the air. More than 137,000 eruptions have been recorded since Old Faithful was discovered in September 1870. The Old Faithful Inn is an historic hotel located in Yellowstone National Park with a clear view of the renowned Old Faithful Geyser. One of the very few log hotels still standing in the U.S., construction of the Lodge Pole Pine Inn was completed in 1904 and it is considered today to be the largest log building in the world. With its spectacular log and limb lobby and massive 500-ton, 85-foot stone fireplace, the inn is a prime example of the golden age of rustic resort architecture. When it first opened in 1904, it boasted electric lights and steam heat.
Designed by architect Robert Reamer for the Great Northern Railway, the inn has been expanded and modified several times. In 1913, the east wing was added, and in 1922, the dining room was enlarged. Later, in 1928, the west wing was built. The interior contains four stories of balconies, but only the bottom two are open to the public. Another of Yellowstone's most popular spots is the Mammoth Hot Springs Complex, the largest known carbonate depositing spring in the world. The hot springs were created over thousands of years as hot water from the spring cooled and deposited calcium carbonate over the landscape. The hot water that feeds Mammoth comes from the Norris Geyser Basin after traveling underground via a fault line. The most famous feature at the springs is the Minerva Terrace, a series of travertine terraces. The terraces have been deposited by the spring over many years, but due to recent minor earthquake activity, the spring vent has shifted, rendering the terraces dry.
The Mammoth Hotel, as well as all of Fort Yellowstone surrounding it, is built upon an old terrace formation known as the Hotel Terrace. Yellowstone Lake is the largest body of water in Yellowstone National Park and covers 136 square miles. Even around Yellowstone Lake, there are bubblers and steam vents. The whole site is dotted with vent holes, some actively spewing out hot steam, while others completely silent. The average depth of the lake is 139 feet, with its deepest spot at 390 feet. The lake freezes over by early December and can remain frozen until late May or early June. Nearly three feet of ice can cover much of the lake. Mm -hmm. 